Hello, are you new to M365? And you heard about preservation hold library, but you cannot seem to find it. Are you feeling lost in space? Well, you're not alone. In this video, I'm going to show you why you're feeling lost and how to find your preservation hold library. Here, I have a SharePoint site for honest lawyers. I need to make sure that I can find a preservation hold library in this site. First thing to keep in mind is that only users with SharePoint site admin permissions can access preservation hold library. So let's first make sure that you have appropriate permissions. We're going to click on settings and select site permissions option. Then in the permissions panel, select advanced permissions settings. In the permissions tab, locate the site collection administrators option and click it. As you can see, I'm a site admin, so I should have no problem accessing preservation hold library. We are now back on the site. Let's check site contents and see what we can find there. Here are the lists and the libraries that are currently available on this site. Unfortunately, the preservation hold library is not here. You can try to access Preservation Hold Library by directly typing its URL address. The address of this library is always the same for all SharePoint sites. And here is the format. And here we see the infamous 404 error. It just does not exist. So here is the reason you cannot find the Preservation Hold Library. It is not provisioned with the SharePoint site when the site is created, but it is created by SharePoint on demand, that is when there is an actual need for this library, and that is why you cannot see it. Let's fix it. Here we have a SharePoint library with a few documents. I'm going to apply various retention labels to these documents. I have varieties of the labels, and depending on the label type, you will see that some of the actions on the documents will be restricted. I'm going to apply more labels and skip the video right ahead so I can save you some time. Additionally, I modified a default view of this library so that we can see the retention labels that will apply to the documents. Let's delete one of these files. This file does not have a padlock icon, so it is not a record and we would have no problems deleting it. That file was still under retention because there was a retention label applied to that. And lo and behold, now we have a preservation hold library there that was provisioned for us the minute we deleted this file. If you click on the file and go to the version history, you can see that all of the modifications that was done to this file are preserved within the preservation hold library. I hope you no longer feel lost in space. There is more to preservation hold library. I'm going to post another video with animated visuals that will help you to quickly learn which files can and cannot go to the preservation hold library. Subscribe to get notification.